Ready, set, plant. Oh god, three waves. Yeah. So this is one of the first stages, I think, where the game in general gets to show off why spike weed is so effective. Okay, so we're covering those two rows now. We are covering literally every row now. Oh, I'm gonna, mm, I meant to save that. Oh well. That is fine. Alright. Can we get. Nope. Guess not. Okay. Yep, this is going dandy. So this is kind of what I meant by the three Peter being really good. You can just sort of cover and then multi-fire. It's helpful, to say the least. But I'm gonna save the squash. Hashtag save the squash. All right. Save the jalapeno too. Hashtag save the jalapeno. Okay, when that squash goes off, if it goes off, I'm gonna lay down the torch right there. Now though, uh, walnut. Come on. Take up the squash now and set down the torchwood. So we're just shooting fireballs. Sick or spike weed. I can't do a dolphin impression to save my life. Oh crap! Dolphin boy broke through. Remember what we do. Oh, wait. <clears throat> yeah, whoa. We're just... Yeah. Not even a challenge. I'd say I would be worried if it wasn't for the fact that they can't seem to break through. Like, just, this entire wave is just... Boom! I'm sorry, my voice is kind of hoarse. I've recorded this entire series in one go. So far. Happy Halloween. Whoa, diamond! It's like a thousand right there. Don't waste the spike strip. Yeah, we're just holding them at bay. Michael Bay. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All right. Let's just go nuts. Jeez. 
sure. Why not? Ooh! That's what it looks like to get wrecked. Alright. Sea Shroom. Aquatic plant that shoots short-ranged spores. I think you guys know where that's going. But for now, I'm going to head back to the main menu. Just so we can look at the shop. See if there's anything we can buy. I think I'm going to buy the Garden Rake. Takes out the first three... Er, takes out the first zombie or a zombie in each stage when it hits it. Pretty nice overall item. Yeah, should be about it. Let me take a look at some achievements. Penny Pincher, pick up 30 coins in a row on a single level. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking about. Yeah. Back to the adventure. <sighs> you know, they used to call me Fogman, because I would hang out in the fog and jump out at people. Uh, those were the days. Well, he's given us an important hint here, because we now have to deal with fog. On the plus side, now we've got our shrooms back. Um, so we can use those again. That means I'm going to be taking these. Unfortunately, my buddy the Grave Buster is not going to be very effective. However, we can now take the sea shroom with us. Mwahaha. And obviously, spike strip. Um, actually... Yeah, I think I'm going to drop the Scaredy Shroom in favor of having the Walnuts. Just effectiveness, really. Additionally, having that first rake there is going to buy us a little bit of time. And while we're on the topic of things I've bought at the shop, let me talk about these pool cleaners here. So, like how we have the lawnmowers on the land, pool cleaners will take out any zombies that reach the end once. Before we bought that, we simply had lawn mowers there, and now we've got pool cleaners, which, yeah, I don't know quite where I want to place you. Um, yeah, now we've got pool cleaners, which go all the way. Lawn mowers would just hit the water and explode, because you know, lawn mowers. Managed to take out the first zombie that was going to be coming through, but now we're actually going to need to deal with things. Apparently he's in that row. As you can see, now we've got fog, which pretty effectively obscures vision. Crap. It's gonna be stuck on that. All right, and I suppose the official line's gonna pull back to here. Also, we've got these new sea shrooms, which are basically just pea shooters in the water. I'm pretty sure they can fire the full way on, like, these. Yeah. I'm gonna lay down sunflowers back here first. So, we can get that. I'm noticing notifications on my phone as I'm playing. Because, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm actually using my phone as the face cam. <laughs> Oh, Jack in the Box. Where is, oh, it's right there. Uh, probably one of the creepiest looking ones. And it just explodes, taking out everything in its wake. Great. Just dandy. Start placing that down there. I'm gonna place this here. You can still place in the fog, which I think is valuable to note. Because it's not like the fog is just off limits, but you can't see where things are. So it becomes harder to effectively play there. But you can. Still, it's a possibility. I wouldn't totally suggest it, though. Just my opinion. Um, yeah. Okay, so now we got a row of sunflowers going, which is good. 
So I'm gonna need more rapid production, which means better options. Also, I keep on forgetting that we have these sea shrooms we can place. Whoever comes down that row is not gonna have a fun day. Except I think they just took out my spike queen. Great. Ah, say lobby. I think we pretty much got this, but I can't quite tell. Like, I really can't tell at all, actually. Oh, there we go. And here's how we're going to be able to tell. <laughs> Lantern. Lights up an area, laying you see through the fog. 